stressful, but fun. Stressful, but worth it. Uh, surreal in a sense. I didn't think. I didn't. I honestly didn't think we'd win. Uh, let alone first place. So our project was basically to build a, a mechanism that can be used in order to drive a robot that moves like a dog moves. It started as, um, as an, a project in a course, it was called uh, Mechanical Systems. But then uh, our professor, Dr. Mustafa Arafa, uh, told us about the competition because it was very relative to the, to the course and we thought uh, why not? Uh, we joined the competition uh, with the with a second version or a little bit improved version, and then we got accepted. And then before we traveled to, traveled to uh, to California to present our work, uh, we developed uh, we developed it uh, even further. A climbing mechanism to be implemented on wheelchairs to help disabled people climb stairs without the assistance of others, but uh, it turned out for the competition as something that's a little bit different and simpler in concept because we wanted to apply the uh, concept itself on many applications. So we so. researched, we looked at the literature, what, what was there, what was not there, um, and we noticed that the people that mimicked, exactly mimicked dog motion would do it with a maximum of two legs on the ground. Making it something that, that actually works efficiently, uh, it's much more general than climbing the stairs. Work, basically, we manufactured in, in um, the, the bolts and the stuff we needed in the mechanical workshops, and then we needed some stuff from the robotics club. So, so most of my work was, you know, just design on the computer, 24/7, just you know, on the computer, designing. Um, the rest of my team would uh, stay maybe in the workshop. I was mainly responsible for the manufacturing assembly of, of the product itself, the prototype. Uh, in the workshop, in the robotics uh, club lab, or uh, in uh, catering sometimes when everything closes or the facilities, facilities on, on campus closes. The most challenging thing in the competition itself, I think it was the integration between the electrical and the mechanical so, parts. Um, every time we manufactured something and started assembling it, we'd find a defect in design, an error that wouldn't make it work properly, so we had to start the entire design process again. So basically problems with manufacturing and then we found problems with the design, we had to reiterate the design once and twice and maybe seven times at least. Uh, the main challenge uh, was that we had to uh, rebuild the, the robot again in America when uh, the security uh, TSA uh, fried all the components, the uh, servo motors and the breadboard and everything, so we had to buy everything uh, from there and uh, rebuild it again the day before <coughs> the competition. And we had to find motors there and batteries. We didn't even travel with our own batteries that we tested the robot on because we weren't really sure about how batteries are treated as baggage. So um, it was tiring at first. Of course, after we've presented our work uh, at the conference, it, it became calmer. We were very hyped up. We didn't think that we'd had it, we'd have a chance to win first place. When we got first place, it was like, whoa. It was amazing. <laughs> I did not expect we were going to win at uh, all. If I'd uh, work on this again, I'd make it uh, climb stairs uh, and do uh, other, other, uh, have other features uh, that could uh, help uh, people um, in a rescue mission.